Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where we need to go back to camp right now. Let's just go back to camp and we can get a long rest. I don't want to like initiate a long rest yet. But uh yeah, how did she get Lizelle of all people too? She must have snuck up on her. Why do we still have the cambium? That's so awkward. Uh why is my camp? Oh, did we change? We changed campsites. Oh, sick! Because we're actually in the lower city now. We've got like a whole whole hotel to ourselves. <gasps> the magic mirror. I also need to check. I need to change my hair, maybe. I think it's so funny that the Cambian is here. This is fun. Yenna's not the one I that's missing, right? I brought my own paring knife. Now, I okay. Look at us in the city! It's kind of wild. Is it? Okay. Tiered shelves, rotten lemon. This is just. We're just like in a back alley somewhere. Uh, does anybody. Look at you, nerds. Does anybody have anything to say about this situation? Lazel was a formidable addition to our party. Our odds without her are diminished. They are. We should consider Orin's terms carefully, however distasteful we may find them. Yeah. You almost pity Orin, taking Lazel <laughs> out. Give her half a chance, and she'll rip out the shapeshifter's spine. I mean, that, that, that's interesting. That Asterian, like, believes in her like that. I think if she got the drop on her, if she hadn't have gotten the drop on her, things would have been very different. The bloody shapeshifting freak! No one takes my gift Yankee and gets away with it! Oh, Garlag is just so nice. Also, why are we though, like, all in. We're just kind of in yucky quarters. What is. Got a shrine? An unknown shrine? Whose iconography has all been worn away? Oh? It is impossible to read. We're down by the docks. We are certainly not living the high life, that's for sure. Hello, listen, I've lost one of my companions. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. Ah, uh, I basked. Okay, one second, let me check the mirror. Let me see if I can get that hair. At least it's not like Dragon Age where like, it's like, oh, you're, you're gonna lose your soul if you do this. And <laughs> it doesn't actually happen, but it is funny that they say that. My hair. Is that not a hair? They have hair options in the game for the the NPCs that are not available for me as a player character. I don't like that at all. Like I've seen this one. I've seen a lot of these. It's not this one. Oh my gosh, that is a good look, though. Oh, she's so beautiful. God dang. Oh my gosh, she could wear anything. Well, I, a good thing I like my original one. I'm jealous. I, I would love to make somebody with that hair. Alright, how are you guys doing in the city? Hope you're keeping well, friend. It's good to see you, puppy. Oh my gosh, look at me. Oh, I could use soap. <gasps> Let me use soap. Come on, give me, let me, yep. Bye. Soap. I actually don't know how to use soap, apparently.
Remove conditions that make you smell. What am I supposed to do with it? Rub, 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 rub. <laughs> you can't consume it. Maybe you put it in your custom? And... Oh! Oh, I did! I used it! Oh, I, 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 was like, I was like, did I hear a bubbly noise? But then I saw the text pop up over here. Okay. Uh, see, I'm smart. I'm smart. Oh my gosh, I love this armor so much. <laughs> Oops, I keep, uh, okay. All right, well now that I figured out how to use soap. <laughs> Who? Oh, you're. I was like, who are you, Oathbreaker? All right. Well. Damn it all! We've got to get Lazel back. If that means killing Gortash, nothing would give me greater. Well, that pleasure. means we have to do. We have to at least do the Steel Watch first, and then we have to kill Gortash. <laughs> what is these? Like little tieflings that are like little battle tieflings. All right, it's very weird to not have Carlac around. We've talked to everybody else, though. Oh, no, Halston. Halston's beyond will? Oh, hi. I received a dispatch from the Grove. Life carries on there in our absence, just as nature intended. My chosen successor, Francesca, has proven to be a wise choice. Perhaps the wisest I ever made as Archdruid. Don't downplay your achievements as Shadow Curse would still hold sway if not for you. One grand victory may not be enough to absolve a host of small failures. That is where true leadership lies. Not in winning a single vast battle, but in fighting a thousand smaller ones, making 10,000 difficult decisions, finding balance where none seems possible. Day after day. That honestly is I very was true. All too eager to surrender my responsibilities towards the Grove. <laughs> Perhaps I was never meant to be Archdruid, to be a leader. Uh, jeez, okay, well, this is not, um, Lazelle themed, but all right. Honestly, I did think he didn't, he didn't seem like he enjoyed the position, or that he even wanted it. I guess enjoyed is not really, you shouldn't really necessarily enjoy a leadership position. Uh, it's a lot of work, you know? I mean, you can, it can be rewarding, but, um... Yeah, so the, he seemed, like, even before, like, because we found him, and he was supposed, he was, like, out and about, and then he came with us super fast, like, he just didn't seem like he fit the arch through it well. Um. Uh. I feel like I should, I don't know. You served the Grove well and found a worthy successor. That sounds really good. And Grove aside, I'm glad you stayed with me. It makes it about me, and I'm like, I don't know if that's a good way to do it, you know? Uh, but, I mean, that's kind of what I want to say, too. This is not that difficult, but it is. <laughs> well, there is shame in walking away if you walk away poorly. So I think he did serve the Grove well, at least I think for the most part, and he found a worthy successor. No one can ask more of you. Still, though, I cannot help but wonder if there was more I could have done. Perhaps, Oak Father willing, I may yet have the chance someday. Forgive me. The Shadow Curse occupied me so entirely and for so long, I almost missed the purpose it gave me. Mm. Now I must find a new one. That is something up. That is something to like take into like right like into account where it's like you have such a you have a goal for so long, especially for him. It was like a hundred years or whatever. You gotta you gotta find something else now. I've been unfair to you, but honestly, uh, you've yeah, surpassed him. Mm -hmm. Enjoy being an animal again. All right, I think I got 
everyone this time for realsies. Save. <laughs> Just in case. Because I didn't see Missouri here, but she's probably going to show up at night. Is this what? Yeah. Give Will a new outfit just to see if it would look good on him. She's so dramatic. Sorore surge testi sesto pacto. What? Come, sisters, be my testament. No tomb sit in bare. I don't like this at all. This seems no tomb sit bad. in their bad. Door. You've heard of such devils. Oh, sisters of justice, adjudicators of diabolical contracts and bargains. Oh. Holy hell! Oh no! Interesting. I don't recall. No. Okay. Just what are you up to? I come to bargain. The hells demand witness. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else we bargain? Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos or, contractos te vocamos. Or we could wait. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. What are you... Break it already, Will doesn't need to wait six months. No contract is ended without sacrifice. A cost must be paid. Will Raven Guard. A choice <laughs> is before. This is so dramatic. Option one. I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two. I break your pact <gasps> and you are freed from your duty. Oh no. Your father dies by his enemy's hand, and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Carl. I was wondering if she'd say something. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. I... I don't, the thing is, is I don't think Will's father would want him to do this. You know what I mean? Like, he wouldn't want him to sell his soul. He was already upset with him for doing it the first time around, right? What will happen to Will's powers? This is a, a neutral question. What happens if he breaks the pact if, with his powers? Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The soul bearer retains his gifts until such time as the absolute is slain. I, I think I don't. No parent, no real, no good parent would want their child to give up their soul for their for their own safety. But like, also, what child, if you know, you're in a good position, I guess? I don't know. Not, not necessarily what child, but uh, many children, many adults, I guess, adult children, would um, give up their soul to save their parents, right? Um, and, uh... 
this kind of feels like the Fenris situation again, where I might tell Will to, you know, do this, but then he'll regret it for the rest of his life. That's the thing, right? Like, you're going to live with survival's guilt that you could have saved somebody, but you didn't. This isn't necessarily the right thing, though, giving your shoulder so your father can live. Like, selling... I don't... You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe it screws this over in the long run, but I think we'll... Should break the pact. And also, why can't we go get his dad ourselves? Like, that's my thing. It's like, we could do it ourselves without Missouri. You know? Yeah. You deserve your freedom. You damned wretch. Father... Do it. Break the pact. I don't know if that's the right decision! Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. And don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. I would rather you didn't. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. Oh, uh, what? What? Break Will's pact with Missouri. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um. Uh huh. Okay. God, I meant to talk. I totally forgot to talk to this guy to tell him to get away. Uh. Uh huh. Where's your boy? Oh, he is. <gasps> Uh, oh, that sounds so bad. I shouldn't have done, I feel like I shouldn't have done that. When you say it like that, it's really bad. <laughs> I mean, it's really bad regardless, right? But I just don't, I don't see why we couldn't find him ourselves. That's my thing. This feels very uh, railroady, right? Where it's like you, we could have tried to figure out information for regarding where Will's dad was hidden. We could have like done the emperor's like secret contacts or whatever. I don't know. Will's probably never gonna forgive me. I don't like this outfit. I like this shirt, but. Okay, I changed my shirt color, but I put on the one I like better. Um, but, oh, jeez. Um, no, we need to go find, where's Will? Will, 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 Will. Will. Is Missouri harassing him? Go away, Missouri! Gods, I spent seven years choked by Mazura's leash, and I spent seven years hoping to break free. I never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. You're your own man now, Will. It's better this way? That's These are all bad. I have to believe that. I'm not the Hell's puppet in life, nor its warrior in death. The blade will be guiding his own hand. But freedom will be paid in my father's blood. Tomorrow, I celebrate my gain. Today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a moat of tranquility. The Raven God name now lives solely with me. 
I will make it count for something. I thought, yeah, okay, here, yeah, okay, because I was like, listen, he is, he is actually accepting this, like, way better than I thought he would, which is a little odd. Your father's not dead yet, Will, I mean, there's a way to save him. I signed his life away before the Hell's Witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. Well... I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. I... The thing is, is like, I don't know... It just seems weird that Mizuro would be able to affect anything like Gortash's plans, you know? Like... Like, I know she's a devil and all and can go all kinds of places, but... Is she, what, was she gonna, like, secret him away? Like, secret his father away? But, I don't know. Also, the idea of, like, him being trapped in death as a minion of the Hells didn't sit well with me either. I don't know. It's a selfish play for me and for Will, I guess. But, like, I don't know. I also don't think his father would have wanted him to do it either, which is, like, my big thing right now. But, you know, that's not necessarily going to make his dad feel better when he dies. <laughs> What's our next step? We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds. And the city. From the brain. Go on, then. Anything else? No? Okay. Bye. You go away! Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. Carl, I can we can we file a harassment like report with Azrael or whatever? You forced Will to make an impossible choice. Impossible? My bargain was uncommonly reasonable. A single soul for the return of Baldur's Gate's most beloved duke. A real bargain, I should think. I never thought the legendary Blade of Frontiers would surrender his father for freedom. Not very valorous, if you ask me. But what does a mean old devil like me know about heroes? <laughs> oh, that's a good one. You left Karlak alone, didn't you want her dead? What changed? Oh, you are an inquisitive one. Yeah, I am. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. Yeah, how's that working for you? If Will isn't your warlock, why stick around and give him power? The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. Okay, so this is personal. You never told me, speaking of that, you never told me how the Absolutists captured you. Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel. But those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul Should have kept her in set there. me free. Gallantry isn't dead, after Should all. Should we have just left her in there? What can you tell me about the Hells? The nine Hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first Hell my home, Avernus. My mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it, the delicious agony of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Hmm. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. No thanks. I was kind of trying to get her, in, trying to get info 
out of her so that when we try to go into the hells, which I think is going to happen, it will be useful. I want you out. I'm afraid that's not an option. I'm quite stubborn, you see. Take a swing or a stab if you want, but I'll just slip away for a breather. One of the perks of being a half devil, of course. It is apparently, yeah. That she did, she did point that out that she's earlier that she's a half devil. Apparently, she's not even a full devil. So, how does one become half devil? Was your soul given away by a parent? Uh, was one of your parents fall in love with the devil or something? You know. Okay, if you're gonna be staying, I need something from you. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, <laughs> I'll lend you a hand. I was gonna say, uh, I probably, I don't wanna make anything that sounds like a deal with her, you know what I mean? But okay, well, Missouri will help us, I suppose. Golly, oh, a ham. Why are we are so spread out? I don't like this. We used to be way closer, and now we're spreading out. I don't like that. Is he? Oh, that's right. I was like, is he shirtless? That's right. I did put him in. <laughs> I totally forgot. Oh, <laughs> Will sacrificed his own father. A hard choice, but. Not one that is unknown in nature. At times a seedling must strangle the very tree that bore it, if it's to survive. Okay. So he didn't, he didn't, uh, dislike it. Didn't dislike the decision. Everyone's blaming Will, but it really was technically, like, Will's choice in the end, right? Where it's like, um, like, I made the choice, but it's also like, Will could have said no. You know what I mean? Like, we're not gonna do that, but... I wonder... Do you think... What is the... Oh, yeah, I gave her a new one. I like this one a lot, I think. I, are we good? Conversation? I figured it out. Exactly what I want to do with you. Oh. Uh, I'm not... <laughs> Cliff diving, naked horse riding, dueling a troll. Even crazier than that, if you can believe it. I want to go on a date. A first date. No weapons, no monsters, no mysterious voices. Just you and me and dinner. Please say yes. Well, yeah. Oh my gosh, look at those eyes. Of course. I'd love to go out with you. Yes. Oh, amazing. Put on your least bloody tunic and make <laughs> Oh, I okay, okay. I need a little while to repair. Hang on. Don't keep me waiting too long. Oh my gosh. What do I wear? What do I do? I do I put on like is it casual wear? Should I give us? Should I take the casual? Should I take the fancy wear from the other two? Oh, I don't know. I don't have anything. <laughs> I don't. I feel like I don't have anything. I can check the. Oh. Oh, I want to wear something nice. Maybe I can steal Gail's shirt. No, I didn't like that one on me, I don't think. I don't think I liked... <gasps> what if I steal Asterian's? I might actually do that. Like, Asterian, can I borrow your clothes? <laughs> I might actually do that. Because I can access... Okay, I'm so sorry, Asterian. Hang on. Um, Can't give up now. Oh, jeez. Okay, hang on. Um, hang on, Asterian. Shouldn't have wished to One second. <laughs> yes. 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 Okay, I'm borrowing this Asterian. I will give it back to you. Uh, what did I give him? Did I say Asterian? Yeah, Asterian. Okay, I was like, what did I miss that? Um... Oh, wait, oh, wait. Okay, this looks much better on him than it does on me. Alright, but we will trade back. I don't, I won't make him wear this forever. Oh my gosh, though, for me? Look at me! Uh, 
Thank you. Is is Carlac clean? Soldier. Should I should I should I give her soap? I think she's clean. And I like this outfit a lot. I think she's clean. Okay, yeah. and I'm clean. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, this is me. gonna be good. This is gonna be good. And with that, we'll go ahead and call it there. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my quinter patrons. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Kalito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel, and who I truly cannot thank enough. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.